All right, now we're going to a crazy shaft in Folly Mountain that's nearby the, the cave stope adits that we saw in the previous episode. But to get there, we pass through this strange dump in a valley here, and we'll make our way there. All right, this big shaft is over in the forest on the other side of the uh, pit. Yeah, the big pit slash trench. We're over on the other side of it. And it's just here in the middle of the forest. All right, here's what we're dealing with. We've got the rope gear here. How far down would you say that goes? 50? What do you think? Yeah, 50 feet's what, five stories, so that sounds about right. The mystery is what's down there. <laughs> Trying to get actual video of this thing is, to put it into perspective, is uh, quite difficult. All right, we're over on another side of this thing, and uh, here it is in the forest, just this collapse down into the uh, earth. Um, just to give you an idea of the, uh, the scale, I'll try and zoom in here and, and pan down and let you see this thing. It goes down 50, 60 feet. The question is, what, what is down there? What is in the black abyss? Throwing down the rope, folks. And we begin the descent. And you can you comment on what the function of that is? I'm clearing the pit. Yeah. So this doesn't fall on me if it Ah. All right, the descent continues, folks. Here's another angle. He's gonna go down over the precipice there. He's on the ground. All 
All right, he's gonna poke around with his flashlight and see what might be. Evidence of any openings or possibilities. Will you just holler out what you're seeing? Uh, a 10 foot shaft if that. She's a dead ender. A shaft or a tunnel or a drift? Uh, a drift. Okay, and it just ends? 10 feet at best. At best? Huh. So here we are. I just left my gear uh, at the bottom. I just came down this rope here. It does have a free, probably about a 20 foot free hang up into the abyss. So I came down and I just took, got off my rack, put my gear down real quick. What I can see is just kind of a, I don't know if I'm t top of a stope or pile. And it kind of goes all the way around. Down in there is just a little spot, but we'll go down there in a second. And then back around and we're back down at the rope. See you come down here, I have the rope bag where I threw down beforehand. And above that is a nice big cliff. We took a little bit of an easier way down, um, but we still had a bit of vertical. And then there was something that kind of was interesting here. It could have been a lead, but I'm not too sure. But you stick my light down there and it's a no-go. Uh, there's really no passage lights, a little bit too bright, so it's kind of blocks the, the image of it a little bit. But I put my head down there and uh, it looks like it might go somewhere, but it, uh, it's a rock face, so it's a no-go. And then back up in here, there's a little bit of tunneling. I'll see if I can lower my light a little bit so it's not too overpowering. And then there's a shaft over here. Oh, not a shaft, a little drift maybe. Just this little guy. Got some wood in it, some drips, maybe five or 10 feet down, and that's about it. So this is at the bottom of the shaft that we just dropped down into, and there we are. He's going to begin his ascent out of this hell pit of death. <laughs> it's not easy, folks. It's a lot of work. Did good. All right, he's back. Well, that brings us to the end of the explore of the mysterious mega shaft here in uh, Folly Mountain. We finally know what's at the bottom and we ain't going back down there again. Bye bye. <laughs>